So today we're gonna talk about socks. And probably one of the things that most beginners neglect is the importance of socks. The reason is you go to the shoe store and you end up dropping anywhere from $120 to close to $200 on running shoes and you're like, well, where I can skimp is on socks. And that's where you're making a big mistake. Because if you're going to run and you just use a normal gym sock or cotton sock, cotton doesn't wick moisture, it holds it in. And when you're running, that can cause a couple problems. One, it's gonna make your shoes stink. Two, it can give you blisters. So cotton socks are pretty much the enemy. And you've already decided that you're gonna run, you've spent the money on the shoes, you might as well get the rest of the equipment that'll make your run enjoyable. You're gonna avoid blisters, you're gonna avoid hot spots, and you're just gonna have a more comfortable, breathable foot. There's a couple different materials that you can get in performance socks. There's synthetic socks, which are your polyester blends, your rayons, those type of uh, artificial sweat wicking materials. And you're gonna see those in socks like this one. This one's a feature sock. And you're gonna see that it's got specific padding for running. So you have a little more cushioning in the toe, a little more cushioning in the heel. This one, the collar comes up. A lot of times running shoes might rub your Achilles. This will help protect against that. You're gonna see this sock is designed to help you with running. It even has a little compression right along the arch to give you a better fit. And so the sock isn't all just like bunching up inside your shoe. There's synthetic and then there's materials like merino wool. Each have their own benefits. Nice thing about the synthetic ones, I feel like they hold up a little bit longer. They're a little better at sweat wicking than merino wool. And I just like the compressed fit and smooth feel of a synthetic. Then you're gonna have a merino wool sock. Why people like that is that it will actually help with regulating temperature. So in the summer, it helps keep you cooler. And in the winter, it helps keep you warmer. As far as different socks that you can get for different fits, there's thin socks, so you're looking like race day. You're looking at a sock like this Nike one here, where you can almost see my hand through it. See how it breathes? So it's really lightweight. It's just there to provide friction control between your shoe and uh, your foot. It's gonna help prevent blisters. If you're really worried about blisters and you need individual toe protection, you can get a, sh a sock like the Njinji, where each toe goes into its own little glove which believe it or not, long distances and hot weather when it's gonna be uh, very humid and your shoes are gonna get wet, having that protection in each toe wrap can really help with blisters. Other things you're gonna look at is whether you want like a no-show sock where it's just coming up to the collar of the shoe. A lot of times I wanna make sure that I'm getting protection from the heel counter so that it's not rubbing here. So you need that little extra bit of sock to just make sure that you're not gonna get that rub. Feature socks, they do a lot of the time, it'll be a left and a right sock. So the reason for that is it actually does wrap the arch. So you're getting a different feel on each foot and it makes a difference. I also like longer socks, especially for the summertime. If you wanna show a little style, these can always uh, give you that extra little bit of swag when you're going running. So you can see these, I really like the longer sock in the summertime just for that. It's just fun to be able to show off some style. And then if you just like something covering your ankles, maybe that extra protection for the heel, you can also get the ankle, uh, so, uh, the ankle sock. All of this sounds a little bit overdone, but you're really gonna find your runs are more enjoyable and you're gonna have less blisters. You're gonna have less problems with sweat in your shoe. Your shoes are gonna not stink as bad as if you went barefoot or went with a cotton sock. So overall, you're extending the life of your shoe. You're extending the life of your feet. You're getting comfort, you're getting breathability, you're getting a lot of benefits from these socks. So don't be cheap. Don't go spend $180 on shoes and then buy a 10 pack of cotton socks at Dick's or something like that. Go ahead, spend the extra money. We love features here. Check it out, look through your drawer. If you don't have socks to go running in, make sure you get something now. Just in case you do wanna get some features right now, you can use the link in our description and use the code BELIEVE10 to save a little bit of dough. But regardless, if you get features or something else, make sure you're treating your feet right.